Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite toothless denture wearer. How do you like that? Two toothless videos in a row. <laughs> After uh, being in the house for an hour or two hours this morning, what time is it? 7.30, so hour and a half this morning after getting out of bed and taking my shower and just sitting at the table watching the sun come up I decided to come outside and stand in the sun and warm up a little bit the smoke is clearing out of the valley so the sun can actually shine through and the reason I say the house is cold is because it's currently I don't know if you can see that 61 degrees out here and our cooler cools the ambient temperature by 10 degrees by drawing air from the outside through the wet pads and blowing the air down through the house. But it's only meant to cool the temperature by about 10 degrees. That's about all water can do when, it's be, when air is being drawn through wet pads, it cools by about 10 degrees. So if it's 90 degrees outside, it's 80 degrees in the house. But you have cool, moist air circulating through the house which makes it feel cooler than it is. So it got down to about 60 degrees last night, which meant the cooler cooled the ambient air temperature down by 10 degrees, and it was 50 degrees when I woke up this morning in the house. So, and surprisingly, I wasn't cold. It was a little chilly, it was uncomfortable, but I wasn't cold, per se. So, if you'll remember last winter, I was able to go outside just like this in, you know, 15 degree weather. I couldn't have stayed out there all day, but I was able to go outside, make a video, and not be shaking and shivering and feel like I was going to die. Since my doctor got me all straightened out last year and told me that I needed to start getting used to the cold again and regaining my brown fat, that's what she called it. So there's two different kinds of fat your body produces. There's, well, there's three actually. But, you know, we'll just say two types of fat. There's the fat that makes you fat. <laughs> like I have now. The fat that makes you fat. <laughs> That's just extra body weight. You know, people say that that if you're obese, you shouldn't get cold because you got plenty of insulation. And that's not true. That is absolutely not true. That is the wrong kind of fat. So people that are obese still get cold. But your body also produces what they call brown fat, which is an insulating layer. So people that live in really cold climates like Siberia and Alaska and places like that have more brown fat than people that live in warmer climates. People in warmer climates don't need that. But brown fat is a layer of fat between the skin and the muscle tissue that is really dense. It's really dense fat. And it doesn't make you overweight, it just insulates you. So people with a lot of brown fat don't get cold as easily as someone like me with just regular fat, <laughs> non-insulating fat. <laughs> That's just a little, uh, little medical lesson for you that I learned. So anyway, uh, toothless again today, not for long, I'll put my teeth in before I start work, but uh, thought I'd get out here and make this video this morning because it's just an absolutely beautiful day and I have to remember, just like I have to remember with my dentures, the struggles I went through, I have to remember the struggles I went through with my stomach issues because a couple of years ago at 60 degrees I would have had a long sleeve shirt on and a jacket I would have been freezing I would have been frozen because I had way too much my cells were just saturated with liquid I had way too much liquid in my body and there was nowhere for it to go so my cells were just saturated with liquid and water just like antifreeze in a vehicle 
if you just put straight water in a vehicle, it will freeze. Your engine will freeze, your radiator will freeze, your hoses will freeze. That's why you mix it with antifreeze. Anti-freeze. Your blood is like antifreeze. And if you put too much water in your blood and all your cells are four times the size they should be with, filled with water, you're going to get colder a lot easier than you do if you limit your fluid intake in the wintertime. So that's just another little lesson I learned. So anyway, uh, oh yeah. My blood test came back. Thought I'd throw that up at you. I was a tiny bit low on my sodium. Just a tiny bit, but I was taking two of those sodium pills a day. Other than that, my blood test came back perfect. Everything was perfect. So my doctor said, if I wanna do another five day fast, have at it. Do what you gotta do. So here in a couple of weeks, I'll do another five day fast. And she said to up my uh, take my sodium tablets three times a day instead of twice a day because obviously I need to keep my sodium levels up because during my fast I was starting my muscles were starting to cramp a little bit but I thought maybe that was because I wasn't drinking enough fluid I thought maybe I wasn't but no she said no your sodium levels are just a little low a little below normal so and and they always are so <laughs> I guess I she said just take three sat ta salt tablets a day instead of two so keep my sodium levels up and that'll keep me from cramping up and stuff during my fast. So I'll be able to do that. I lost seven pounds and so far I'm maintaining that weight. I'm not adding extra, I'm not gaining weight. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days of eating and I haven't gained back any of the weight yet. So that's good. So here in uh, you know a couple weeks, I'll do another five day fast and see if I can lose another five pounds and then I'll do it again and until I get rid of this gut. So it's gonna take time. Everything takes a little time. And that coffee stays hot. It's been an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. Man. It's still hot enough that I have a hard time swallowing it. Love that cup. I don't drink as much fluid as I used to. So anyway, uh, you're seeing this on Friday. I have a road trip to make tomorrow. So I have to go look at something. So that's gonna be fun. I'll post that video on my Bill Slap Like It or Don't channel. That'll come out next Wednesday. But, um, yeah, something that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at something that I want because, well, the price is right, and I can't pass it up. <laughs> if I can get it, I can't pass it up, and you'll see that. But for now, I'm not going to talk about it. Just letting you know I'm going on a road trip, a short road trip. Not like a two-day road trip or anything, just a short road trip. But anyway, uh... Yeah, so I, I really don't know what to talk about today. I really don't. The sky is beautifully clear again. Finally, the smoke finally blew out of the valley, which is, oh, man, this is just a giant bowl here. So the smoke just comes in and it just settles in the bowl and it just stays here forever, it seems like. But it's all cleared up now and the sun is shining through the trees. You can see the sun is nice and bright. So the smoke is all cleared out. Doesn't smell like a giant campfire out here anymore. And other than that, things are going pretty good. I think I can put my smoke alarm back up on the ceiling now because it kept going off. The cooler draws in air from outside. And my smoke alarm kept going off because there was so much smoke in the air that I literally had to close my window in my bedroom and I had to close this door and I, you know, hoping that the cooler would filter some of the air, but it didn't really filter much. I mean, it does filter a little bit because it's drawing it through wet pads. So it did filter some of it, but there was still enough smoke that my smoke alarm kept going off because it's right there by the swamp cooler. So uh, I had to take it off the ceiling, just go without it for a few days, but now I can put it back up. 
and that's it for today my friends not really talking about dentures today so sorry <laughs> but you know did you see that hummingbird did you see that hummingbird how cool was that he looked like he was about to land on me I love nature nature is such a beautiful thing it's so amazing get outside and enjoy some nature <laughs> even if it's in your own backyard. All right, my friends, keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give 